we don't want to join, I don't know, anymore. We are inside, so how can we do this cooperation inside NATO and inside uh, inside uh, uh, the European Union? We did it very well. I mean, if you remember the, the preparations for the Copenhagen Environment Summit, the two new members came, the ten new members came together. The driving force was the Visegrad, uh, Visegrad group, and we came to a position which we 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 managed to largely uh, largely uh, make the European Union accept what we what we wanted. Of course, it made uh, some uh, old member, big old member states. I don't want to name France and Germany, very angry. They made very angry remarks. How can you how can you conspire against us? But we managed to explain that, first of all, uh, if uh, the Franco-German dinners before EU summits are not conspiring, then we are not conspiring either, because we have our, our, our interests. And secondly, that, that this is, this is long-term also in the interest of the European Union. So I think if we do this kind of, of regional cooperation, where there is, there is common interest which does not contradict the, the common interests of the European Union, even if some don't recognize it, uh, then I think we are doing a very good job. And that's why I think that the Visegrad cooperation is extremely useful and helpful and, and, and whatever, good. <laughs>